Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization V as Rome, where everything went wrong. None of our plans went the way they should. And yet, not only am I number one in literacy, uh, by I believe a fair bit, we'll check it in the info addicts in a second, but I'm also, I'm also number one in approval, and how often do you see that? Also pretty high rating and a few other things. Even the soldiers is actually kind of surprising, uh, considering I haven't really focused on it. Let's check the info addicts to see exactly where we are in the technologies. We are three techs ahead of our nearest neighbors, which is not bad. Um, can we find out from there what our science output is? No, we can, which is actually not quite fair. The Zulus are producing more science than I am. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we have been delaying a lot of the research labs and things because of culture, because apparently we're still pretending that we're going to go for a culture victory. You are still willing to pay me seven gold per turn for iron. Listen, China. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Like, I'm not sure you're playing the game right. But whatever. I probably have a lot of unimproved um, tiles, too. But I'm, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, good terms. Yada, yada, yada. Um, I mean, Rome is pretty improved. And we got another great engineer. Wow, they are just coming in like crazy. And that's actually natural born because we are, of course, uh, using faith to buy artists right now. Um, and that's probably the thing we want to keep doing. Um, and if we look here, yeah, we could do we could do a little bit of everything. We'll do well. We need a lot more artists, and especially if we can get some combos going on. Is it same era and might or not? Yeah, yeah. We've got our theming bonus there. So. Yeah, so we just have to wait until we get some more stuff. Okay, that's fine. And an artist would actually be quite good, especially if it's still in the, era, the same era. Um, I think we build more fighters. And after you build the fighter, then you can go and throw in a research lab. We don't need a zoo or an arsenal. An airport here? Um, yeah, actually, that would start to make some tourist sense. And all very expensive. Luckily, right now, we're still making some money, although the costs are definitely going up. Uh, Wilbur Wright. Hey, I know that guy. I think you are going to camp out in Ravenna with the idea that we might be able to rush by a wonder there. And Fighter... Oh, Fighter probably couldn't make it all the way over here. Um, I think he could make it from Antium, though, so we'll do that. Friendship with Ethiopia. Certainly we can get that back, right? Excellent. I mean, they're probably afraid of me. I have the world's fourth largest military, after all. Uh, you can hang out in Antium. That's going to be fine. Fortify up. There's no wonder we can build right now. No. And we're not about to get one either. Um... We want... The Sydney Opera House would be nice. And then the CN Tower. Oh yeah, the free broadcast towers. So, we didn't have to build them. Uh, but it meant that we got them early. I always felt that that was kind of odd. May as well still build it, though. It's some culture and some happiness. I don't know. Hotel in every city, that one's going to be important. Actually, the Hubble Space Telescope. Rather than build the CN Tower, since we probably have broadcast towers everywhere, uh, it probably makes more sense to go to satellites and pick up the Hubble Space Telescope, since that is our plan B. Civil Resistance. Overall, they're still doing okay, and actually the Zulus are positive again, which is kind of annoying. Familiar and rising. Not even rising slowly, just rising. That's quite the bonus. Open borders, trade routes, propaganda from a diplomat. Nice. Just don't have the shared religion. It'd be nice if we could get a trade route to the Incans, but they're all inland and quite far away, so it doesn't seem to be an option. This is still a little bit concerning. Yes, we're all friends. Do, do, do. Hopefully there's going to be enough planes. We definitely need to get more fighters over there because we could get obliterated by just bombers. Move you over here. Lovely. Don't plot against each other. We want to play nice. Borders grow in some way that doesn't mean anything. 
Yeah, the academy is even more science, which will be nice. All right, I think I'm still relatively satisfied with things. And we can airdrop things. That's the thing. We could actually reinforce relatively quickly through a variety of different means if war does break out over there because of the airplanes or the airports. Because you can basically teleport, I think, from an airport to any adjacent tile. Uh, you think maybe I should just get rid of this crossbow at this point? I'm not going to upgrade this guy all the way, right? And he's just costing me money. He does have some upgrades. Does barrage matter anymore? You know what? We can buy a better unit for cheaper. Um, that's fine, that's fine. I think we're going to leave the others as being okay. Uh, Wilbur, hang out. Plane, you are set to intercept. Uh, oh, look at that. We got a Roman machine gun for free. Let me... This guy's got no even no upgrades even. I'm going to be able to do that. And if we're going to put it anywhere which should be an Antium. Finished research lab. I don't think we need stadiums or anything like that. Um, do we want to build a caravan? Probably should have more caravans. Uh, you know what we're going to do? Is we're going to build another bomber. Or a fighter. And then you can build a caravan. Then we'll figure out what we want to do there. We might get you to build some science. Uh, Rome, what are you set to? Still great person focused. Uh, is it the right great people? No, it's not. I really need to manually work this. Um, I could probably cancel some of this, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. Yeah, Rome, I need to manipulate your great people. You're, you're being dumb. The problem is there's too many slots. I would rather great scientist points. Well, I get, what? Oh, right, because the next person will be a great artist. I got to make sure we've locked actually in all the cities. Well, the other cities don't have guilds. Never mind. I'm, I was going to say something dumb. Atomic theory. Yes. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. Um, we are going to uh, manualize that. And then you're going to do public school, research lab, universities. And then, yeah, sure. Wow, your growth is non-existent. I'd still like you to grow. How quickly is the question? Let's do something like that. And then when you grow a little bit more, we'll assign some more people. It's important that you're still working the guilds and obviously all the science. And then that will do. Okay. And yes, uranium discovered in a few different places. So here's... Whoops. We're going to go into our units list. We're going to find all of our workers. We're all automated. Just going to backspace them one at a time. That's it. We don't have tons of workers. We have a lot of uranium. Um, some of it's in city tiles. There we go with this one here, which will actually be pretty decent production. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I've hidden the research. Making over a thousand beakers a turn right now. Not bad. And we got some research agreements. Oh, Ethiopia. Oh, Ethiopia doesn't have any money. And so we need to redo our research agreement. Seriously, Zulus? I mean, I guess I have enough happiness. I mean, kind of derp. I could expand some more. Well, I, I don't know where I would do it at this point. My golden age has ended. So say our analysts. Hotel is done. Cargo ship here. You know, we'll probably build a caravan and then just move it to Lundy is what we'll do. Uh, hospital for growth. Markets. Museum, because we're going to want more of them. And may as well do a garden, because actually you could really use it. Okay. Someone was going to move there. I'm going to move you there. Move you over here. And you could probably be automated again. Fighter be on intercept mode, and you are going to come down here. And we have to sign delegates to a standing army tax. 
which will hurt the Zulus a lot. I mean, it will cost me some money. Speaking of, my money is going down. Oh, more trade routes would be helpful. Oh, Venice, we got to renew that. And probably the airports are cost me a lot of money. Whoa. Standing army tax passed. Okay, so I am losing some money. We need to make another proposal. Um, you know what? Let's try the international games. We might be able to uh, push through to uh, a tourism win there at this point. Um, yeah, we are going to change the home city to Alundi. Might actually be a good idea to lift the embargo against the uh, Zulus at some point. Just so that I can trade with them. Actually, that would open up a lot of bonuses uh, between me and them as well. Which might be nice to have if I do plan on winning a tourism victory, which I don't know if I will. <clears throat> Basically, at this point, we can pick or choose our victory. It's not going to be the fastest victory condition. No, I meant to do that myself, Venice. Sorry about that. It's not going to be the fastest win. But it should be a relatively safe win. Uh, sorry, I do not want to go to war. If I'm going to go to war with anyone, it'll be the um, the Zulus. And I probably won't be starting it. Finish that hotel. Let me research lab. Adopt policy. Um, probably. Rethought that 17% bonus is pretty good. You can mine that. You go over here. Now, if one of these guys pulls a Napoleon and, like, attacks me somewhere I don't expect, it might suck. I guess we'll go for the higher gold, because apparently we are a little bit broke right now. Incas are, like, launching a sneak attack. Searches for science. That might be us. We went for some pretty high techs right now, so. Macau is tiny. Um, oh, I can't actually just pay you for open borders. So yeah, we'll mutual open borders. It's going to be fine. Yeah, and the one way might be preferable, but we'll do what we can here. I don't think I've got banks and stock exchanges everywhere. I should probably get them going. Uh, do I have a wonder I can build yet? The Manhattan Project, but I don't think you can rush that. And I don't even know if I care to build it at all. And it's a national wonder, so it's not a world wonder, so I don't think it gets the same bonuses. Um, growth. Shaka is plotting against me, er, and plotting a sneak attack against someone. Probably me. He does have a whole lot of troops. We'll give him that. This could definitely hurt. Uh, you, yeah, yeah. We get more uranium, it's fine. Intercept mode. Are you at war with anyone? No. Although, honestly, anyone you would go to war with would probably be bad for the other person. Um, did you just peace out with everyone? Is that what happened? Damn. Actually, it'd be easier if I went here and saw who was potentially a, a liable target. Can I just, like, bribe you to go to war against someone else? That would be pretty funny. No. And almost certainly, they won't do war against him, because it would be suicide for them. Hmm. Uh, maybe a mutual thing. Would you be okay with that? Ten turns, okay. Maybe. And what about you? Oh. Because I've got my uh, diplomat there. Uh, well, there's no way they'll do it just to trade. There's no way on earth. If I discuss it... Can't see it. I think that's Shaka. Ten turns. Alright, well. There's hope. We should probably be building units here. Let's 
something like a bomber. Just get it in there. Uh, he doesn't seem to have much in the way of anti-aircraft, which would be nice. I don't have a lot of bombers, though. I think I've only got the one in the city. Yeah! Totally do it. Embassies all the way, bro. There's a lot of planes moving around. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, more airports going to get done, which is just going to sink my economy some more. Yeah, we'll do uh, we'll do the mutual thing. It's fine. Is it both World's Fair? No. International Games and Ban Incense. Finish in the airport. Build me some more bombers. At this point, I think I've got enough anti-air. I would just like to have more anti-ground. Although I do have the ships there, which is good too. More bombers. I don't think we need a fighter here, so let's move it over here. We might end up with too many bombers. Although extra bombers could sit in Ravina and blow up ships, which is pretty good. Um, we're just going to go for the money at this point. Highest gold. And I think just creating a random great work of art is going to be okay. Although, that was the... Good. Ingman bonuses, good. Because we'll have to consider when we might be entering the next era. Uh, we're going to be in the Atomic Era for quite some time here. So we can probably get another pair of Atomic Era works. And that's good. Um, really... Lots of sneak attack. Oh, yeah. They're sneak attacking um, Shaka. I'm not going to warn Shaka about that. That would be silly. Or maybe if I did, he wouldn't want to attack me as much. He'd be like, hold on a sec. Let's go after Ethiopia. Actually, that might have been a good idea. God, Dublin is really close. It'd be nice to grab. Um, oh, you want to do it now. That's weird. Oh, it's because I never invited you to the party. I think I should say yes. I don't think this would actually successfully distract Shaka, though. Shaka's at negative money. Hmm. Really? No, he's losing. He's losing 37 a turn. Oh, right, because of the thing. Uh, because of the standing army tax. Should I jump in right away? I mean, I kind of was hoping they might before, but I'm not feeling as, as anxious and bad because people are still uh, planning attacks. Let's tell you what. You give us 10 turns to prepare, so you will keep preparing the attack. Zulu battleships. Oh, I could probably upgrade my frigates. It's probably a good idea. There's um, a lot of possibility things will fall fast over here, too. Yay, penicillin. Yay, science. We are going to upgrade you to a machine gun. These frigates won't do anything. Yeah, we're, we are losing money, so we've got to be a little bit careful about that. But I think that's a good idea. We can always, if need be... Um, we are going to light bulb with this guy. 8,000 beakers. Not bad. Boom. Um, if need be, we can always um, just have someone build wealth. And that'll be pretty good. All right, fighter is done. Oh, get a castle going. Certainly here. Actually, we might want to build more defensive structures after that is done. This is a bit of an exposed city. The place that will get bombarded is still Alundi. We might put a bomber or two here. But yeah. Shaka is plotting against... Oh. oh. Shaka may not actually come for me. He might have, like... He might just be scared of the military might. Because he's trying to find a target, which might be Ravina, actually. But with my powerful navy, it'd be hard for him to do that. I should maybe move uh, my troops here. Yeah. I think I should move my navy to be defending Ravina a little bit more. He might be going all the way to Iridium. Uh, if I wasn't losing so much money, I would upgrade that and automate you i could move this lancer here still have this knight which could be upgraded to a cavalry 
Um, you have a castle at least. Well, that's not so bad. I should move the fleet though. This frigate bringing into friendly waters. This is not quite as strong. I'll put a battleship here. And I think what I'm going to do is move one battleship, like, way over here. So we can sink some stuff in response. And actually, it kind of sucks to have a great engineer kicking around here in a really vulnerable place. We're going to have to be a little bit careful. You go to intercept mode. Let's go. I don't think he can take the city in one turn. He doesn't have the ships to bombard. They're all hanging out by the city over here. Hopefully it's okay. I don't like the fact that I'm still losing the money. That standing army tax. Who decided that was a good idea? Maybe he's upgrading a bunch of ships to battleships. So my naval superiority is falling away quite quickly. Uh, I could potentially build some um, submarines, though. Because they do pretty well. And put you on the other side of Ravina and wait there. Bomber, you're just going to sit tight. Oh, come on. Incas against China. That's going to be a distraction. No longer an ally of Colombo. Colombo is pretty good, although his ships are a little obsolete now. Uh, I don't have the money, unfortunately, to just throw even a little bribe that way. We'll have to make sure to get our banks and stocks up. We've got some. I've got some in the capital. <laughs> Where are you going? You look at these settlers! And here, like, the AI is just like, any little spot that happens to be open, we're going to drop a city. And the AI can do that a lot better because they have less, um, they have less upkeep and they grow faster. They've got all these huge bonuses, especially at the higher difficulties. All right, so United uh, United Nations is kicking in. I don't think anyone's going to win that way. Uh, oh, we can do our Sydney Opera House, though. Let's do the stock exchange. I'm happy I built the extra defensive thing, but that's good. Uh, let's do it in Ravina. Uh, so how many hammers do I need for this? 1250. And will you give me 1250 hammers? You'll only give me half. So finish the castle first. You make some music. Sign delegates uh, to choose the host. Is there any chance I could elect myself? Oh, it, very close. A bunch of us have eight. I don't know what will happen if I pick myself and there's a like big tie. And one of the people, like, the current leader is not one of the people who has eight. So I'm wondering if it, the current leader had the tie, if they just keep it. But otherwise, does it go by player order, in which case I would be first? All right, sit tight. Go. Um, no, thanks. Ooh, losing more money. Well, we did build some more units and buildings. The upkeep is kicking in. Definitely have to get stock exchanges up everywhere. And that'll fix our money woes. I'm pretty confident about that. And again, one city uh, building wealth would also be okay. There's another bomber. Just stick in Ravina. That's, um, that's pretty good production. I think we will want the uh, solar plant. I think we need that. You know, it's more money and whatever. Uh, bank. Let's get that going. And another one. Um, what needs orders? Bummer. I can actually move one more over here. Let's do that. So tourism, we're almost up to 300. Civil resistance in China. Um, although they're still positive. The Incas have minus 11, which means they will get rebels will pop up. If they get the minus 20, cities can flip. We're working on it. We're still exotic with the Zulus, and we can't actually do trade routes to them, which is um, an issue. I think we may have to repeal the embargo. We may have, like, maybe embargoing them in the first place was bad. On the other hand, it is ruining their economy, which is good, especially with the, um, the standing army tax, although they're now turning a profit again, which kind of annoys me. After all the work I went through, 
And I only have 10 turns left of uh, income. Not even. It's the Incas that are currently losing money. So they landed some troops over here. I mean, they do. They're, they built another city right on top of some uranium. Um, that sounds like a good idea. Let's keep that going. Still have tons of happiness. 16 turns away from another golden age, which isn't bad. Getting a great scientist really soon. Can automate you. You're being built there. Choose production. I'm thinking stock exchange. And bank. And you have the stock exchange. You have some sea resources. It's actually not a bad idea to get some extra production here. It costs money and things, but we can also do faith. Or we could just build wealth or research or something. Um, I think it's probably worth building a seaport, though. It'll basically pay for itself. And we can adopt another policy. Well, well, well. Start buying great scientists with faith, but we can already do that. Um, gold from science buildings, actually. That's a lot of money. It's like 45 gold per turn from that. Boom, now we're in the positive again. You know, there might be something in the ideological tree that might be better. There might be this or that. But, I don't know. Okay, wow, that is uh, quite the navy that is starting there. We need some money so we can buy a navy is actually what's uh, what the case is. So that we can compete again. Got a great scientist. Do we really have a workboat that's just sitting idle? I don't understand. Um, Heisenberg. Almost, wow, that is a lot of beakers. Although techs are pretty expensive at this point, but it's basically a full proper tech. Finish rocketry, almost finish satellites. Um, we don't have to rush the Apollo program. There's Building it early doesn't actually make a difference, but I don't think there's really anything else that we need to worry about in uh, Kumai here. So we'll go ahead and build that. You know, again, unless I want to build science or wealth or something, but that's okay. We're going to automate you. That's already been built. So if I keep you on automatic, there's literally nothing to do. I guess if anything, something, if ever something gets pillaged, they'll go and repair it. That's okay. Or I could just delete them and save some money. There we go. Should have done that a while ago. Stock exchange me. Bam. Penicillin was stolen from Rome. Right, we don't have a defensive spy, uh, which I still think makes sense. We have a spy schmoozing there. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Right. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to be mad if he declares war on me and I've missed this opportunity. But, I don't actually want to go to war. That's actually not part of my game plan. And these other guys won't really be able to help. Also, China's already in a war, so... Yeah, it's doubly likely they're not going to be able to do anything. I need some more ships, though. Seaport is done. Actually, I could build some ships from here. Which might be a good idea. Um, you know what? A submarine or two might make a big difference. Friendship with China. Well, let's keep it going. One big happy family. And we we're not going to warn Shaka about that. Oh, wow. The wars are happening without me, which is fine. Shaka might just run over them and become more powerful. But in the meantime, they're going to be distracted. Um, or we could all go into a war simultaneously with Shaka. All right. What a way to end an episode. Let's hope this works. Shaka is going to be in war against everyone. And it might not be great for me. And it does suck that it happens on the AI's turn. Hey, satellites, information age. 
Shri Prada. And Krakatoa. Where the hell were these things? Oh, wow. Right, of course. Krakatoa, or Shripada, will never, ever, ever get worked by anything. That's, uh, that's wonderful. Same thing with Krakatoa. Nice. Uh, so we gotta put a cut in here, but when we come back, big, 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 big wars. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.